Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make wiggly text, like Numby and Clerk and all those other guys that you see in like CR and Metro's montages. So first you need your cinematic. Um, I'm gonna link this guy. He makes a bunch of good cinematics. So I'm just gonna borrow his cinematic right here. And then if you wanna split a clip, it's Control B or Command B on Mac. And then you can just delete that. And here's my cinematic. You can really use a lot of different ones, but this is mine personally that I'm gonna use for the video. And then I have my song right there. Let me go into it. All right. So we have a song. Right? Yeah. All right. So this yeah. is what it's initially gonna look like with the song alone. So after you do this, you have to go back to media, and um, go here and create a new fusion composition, and just name it whatever you want. I'll name it title. Create. And for now, I'm just gonna actually show you why you have to create that fusion composition. So, uh, to do this, you have to get this wiggly text. I'll link it down below. It's really easy, you just install it, and then you have to go into your downloads, and just place it right on this bar right there. And the reason, all right, and then you have to, the reason you don't, uh, the reason you have to, make a fusion composition is because if you don't what happens is um if you straight up try and fusion get into the clip yet yeah, you have to move this media outlet thing which causes you to not be able to s see this green so say i type whatever like um uh, all right say so this is my um text right and then you have to take this dot and connect it to that but all you'll see in the end is this so if i go back to edit you don't actually see my cinematic yeah. which is a problem and that's why you use the fusion um composition so that you can see both the clip and the text you have to connect that back all right, so uh, you have to drag this in on video two, and then you can stretch this out to make it the same size as the cinematic, and then click on it and go to Fusion. Now, as you see, you don't have the media in, you only have the media out, so that's how you know you're in the right one. Now, once again, you put this in, and you connect this, and now you can see there's your text. And you have to click on the text tab, and then um, you can change it. For me, I'm doing suede for this example. So you would just type down the title. And then uh, you have to select a text. Um, personally, I like this one. And then you can change the size around to make it a little bit bigger or smaller, whatever you want. Make sure it looks pretty good. And that's about it. And then once you do this... As you can see, if I put it in full screen here. Yeah. 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 At the moment, it doesn't look uh. very smooth because my PC isn't the strongest thing in the world. But once you download the clip, um, it'll look a lot smoother. I'll run the downloaded clip right now. Yeah. Dying. Yeah. <laughs> And as you can see, that's already a lot smoother. So don't worry if your timeline looks scuffed because it's a glitch. Yeah. That's just an issue yeah. with the preview. It happens to everyone, basically, unless you have the God PC, which most people don't. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if this video helped you, uh, dropping a like and a sub would be appreciated. And um, apart from that, thanks for watching.